Sometimes we waste so much time, and I have to put it that way because I know that this has been my experience, and it is a waste of time when we put so much emphasis on how to say something, and then we end up not saying it at all, or we spend so much time majoring on the minor. And even as I got ready to share with you what I've been reflecting on this week, I began to do that, and it has been a struggle. So this is what I'm going to do. I've been on a long journey to get down here to Pittsburgh and I was already tired from being at a phenomenal conference this past weekend in North Jersey. So I'm just going to give it to you straight, lay it down and say it straight from my heart. If people don't allow you to operate in your divine authenticity and for God to display your gifts on their lane in the lane in which you've been in and been on or been ministering on, functioning on. Listen, create your own street and it's okay. This is what I say, slow down, but make haste. Now those are contradictions. Slow down, why? The Bible says to consider all of your ways, but make haste. What does that mean? Well, you remember when Peter was on death row? Yeah, I got a little bit of hood in me, so I don't necessarily say death row, but I say death row. He's on death row, and the angel of the Lord came over to him and loosed his chains and said, make haste. When God opens up a door for you, you go ahead and take the opportunity. But that's what I say to you, slow down, but make haste. When we're serving, when we're doing things in life and ministry, when you are working your job or you're serving in your community, that uh, you're serving with humility. Now, I also say that if someone's going to say that they are humble, typically they're probably not. But uh, for, for this purpose today, uh, let's say that you are serving in humility, that you're working in humility. And part of that humility is that you stay in your lane, that you know that you're gifted, you know that you're anointed, and you know that you're so talented. And sometimes people in one area or in one group uh, will get a totally different result even though you're present there, they'll get a totally different result than someone else or another group will get. Perhaps, maybe, possibly, uh, you haven't necessarily been given access or been empowered to step up and allow God to display your gifts in that moment. And it's okay. Solomon said, for everything there is a season. There's a time for everything. And sometimes, Every gift that you have, every talent that you have, is not going to be displayed. And that's okay. Serve anyway. But in the midst of slowing down and uh, staying in your lane, because if you're going to stay in your lane, you got to slow down. You know about those days when you used to speed and you used to uh, pray that you weren't going to get caught, or maybe perhaps you were just so wild that you didn't care. And when you're speeding, it's difficult to stay in your lane. You're not paying attention. But slow down. Consider your ways. Make sure that you don't overstep. Make sure that you don't come off as a control freak or as someone who is arrogant or thinks more highly of themselves than they ought to. Slow down. Stay in your lane. But here's the thing. Make haste. Make haste to operate in your divine authenticity. And sometimes that means if you are staying in your lane in one area or in one event or in one aspect, uh, that you've got to go ahead and make haste. Create your own block somewhere else. Nah. You're so gifted, you're so talented, you're anointed, you're so anointed, you might even create your own city. And it's okay to do that. Paul told Timothy in, in 1 uh, Timothy chapter 4, Paul was giving him instructions and directions as to how to deal with the people that are under his care. And uh, I love this, and this is what I think about as someone who started a church, planted a church at 23, and uh, had much success. Now, 10 years later, you can do the calculation. 10 years later, I know that hopefully I look much younger than I am, but I know that I have also been graced with wisdom on another level. And for years, I didn't even tell people my age because I was afraid that people who were older than me were going to feel like they would not be able to receive correction or instruction or wisdom from me. So I'm reminded of these words that Paul told, told Timothy. He said this, 
and I can figure out how to work my phone. He said this. Uh, all right, still trying to figure it out. He said this. Third time's the charm. Paul told Timothy this from the classic Amplified. He said, let no one despise or think less of you because of your youth, because of your age. We're all different ages and stages and have different cages, but we believe that the that that the lock and uh, has been uh, in, uh, lifted up, that the latch has been lifted, and we're going to push forward. Let no one despise or think less of you because of your youth, but be an example, be a pattern. That's what I want to let you know. Be a pattern uh, uh, for the uh, believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity and moral purity. And sometimes to be an example for other believers, you've got to do just what I said. To be that pattern, you've got to slow down, but make haste. You've got to stay in your lane and then in due season when it's necessary, when it's required, when you've been instructed, and when the peace of God has come in and has become the umpire, as Colossians says. You create your own avenue. Ah, forget the lane, create your own avenue. If they won't let you uh, operate in your full gifting, in that lane, create your own avenue. Sometimes that's the pattern that we have to uh, operate in. Slow down, make haste. It can be frustrating, but in the midst of it all, I want to encourage you. Don't let anyone despise you or think less of you because of your education, your vocation, because of your age, your stage in life, or even the cages that you have been in. Go forward. Walk in your divine authenticity. Slow down. But make haste. Slow down. Consider all of your ways. Stay in your lane. Serve in humility. And if you cannot allow, or if your gifts are not allowed or open or welcomed to be uh, on, on display on that lane, create your own avenue. I've done that. And it's okay. God's going to get the glory no matter what. And uh, at the end of the day, I don't know when someone has told you this uh, last, but... I'm proud of you, and God is proud of you. There's some gifts on the inside of you that you're just wondering, gosh, I wish people would see what I can really do. And the truth of the matter is that some people won't have the chance to see it face to face, but they'll have to see you function and operate on the level of your true gifting somewhere else. And in the words of some wise woman that I know, I call her Auntie Susan, oh well. So, have a wonderful weekend. I love you guys. I got a busy few days ahead, so pray for a brother. I love you. Share this with someone, bless them, and encourage them to walk in their divine authenticity. Slow down, but make haste. And if they cannot function in their full divine authenticity in that lane, in one lane, go ahead and create their own avenue as the Lord leads. I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace.